Hi everyone, I, I'm back and I'm going to alter this box. This is just a plain cardboard box that uh, there was a men's wallet here. <clears throat> so of course I, I've confiscated the box. I'm going to alter it. I'm gonna work on the lid. Uh, the bottom I'm leaving uh, for now. Uh, basically just painting inside not really interesting so I'm going to uh, glue uh, lots of stuff here and cover it with gesso and then paint it I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna paint it I just want to play on, on top of the lid with uh, several uh, things now uh, when you alter uh, something like this a box like this just uh, see uh, decide if you want it uh, like this or like this so how you're working on it this is your canvas for in that matter and usually when i'm doing uh, altering a box like like so i will uh, cut in uh, one of the sides and then glue it here so I will have some kind of hinge I want to the box to open like so or like so you don't have to do it uh, I just like it uh, so it, it has an opening like a hinge and not that you always have to <laughs> uh, to lift uh, right uh, on top whatever <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm gonna work on it like so so uh, this is moving it aside usually I'm doing some kind of a uh, texture on the background with stencil and modeling paste or you know me I'm using a wood filling or a wall compound instead of um, modeling paste but a uh, this time I want to try something else I have this I don't know lace trimmings from latex that uh, Maria sent me and I want to glue them here as my background some kind of texture to all the things I'm gonna uh, start gluing here so first of all I'm going to glue this I'm gonna use my trusted silicone glue and this is a local brand and if you want silicone glue this is silicone glue as far as i know you can uh, buy yuhu glue everywhere and i'm talking about the, uh, this glue that comes in tube and not the stick this is silicone glue and the only thing is that this is a little bit expensive at least here Maybe because it's important. So I'm using uh, what I can, the silicone glue that I can find in my local chip, chip store. So putting down glue and I'm talking too much. I've watched a lot of videos of uh, altering boxes and in most of them they glue uh, all kinds of stuff down and then covering everything with black gesso now i don't know i don't have a good uh, experience with the black gesso maybe because i don't have all those fancy uh, sprays the mists and everything so it doesn't work for me like for others i don't know so i'm not gonna use black gesso which I recently bought but <laughs> it seems like I don't have much use for it just goes to show you that not everything that you think you need to buy you really need it so here goes my background my textured background and now now we are moving to the elements that are going to be on top and I don't have a word for it in English. In Yiddish, it's called schmonces. If anyone knows Yiddish, 
Yiddish. This is Schmunces. And Schmunces are old stuff that nobody uses. <clears throat> and for <clears throat> some reason, crafters like us keep and <clears throat> now we can use it uh, on uh, uh, mixed media uh, projects. So this is Sushbontes <laughs> and I've got here uh, all kinds of things like uh, earrings from the 80s. I've got buttons, I've got all kinds of stuff here, uh, old necklaces, like see here, this is like, I think this is just garish and horrible, but if I uh, will take it out of the necklace and put it here, it can be a really fine element. Now, bear in mind, it doesn't uh, matter the color of each of the the pieces that I'm going to glue down because everything is going to be covered so I'm moving several of the stuff here just uh, look around your house for uh, old things old uh, earrings and even uh, zippers and you can use uh, metal screws and cogs and whatever you have on hand and <clears throat> uh, seed beads can also be worked into a any kind of beads and now I'm looking I think this is called the plier I'm not sure so I'm going to try and take this piece out of the necklace as I said because I really like the shape of it it's a good thing that everyone that knows me knows to bring me <laughs> uh, their uh, old necklaces and uh, all kinds of jewelry here we go something horrible from the 80s and he doesn't want to go yeah okay here we go so this is just starting to play and I've got like this a uh, pin another garish pin that I don't even know where it came from not mine <laughs> and I'm gonna start playing with putting down elements let's see <coughs> where are my buttons 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 let's see if I have something interesting maybe here something like that no this is an interesting button that has some kind of embellishment and i'm going to glue all this stuff with my silicone glue you can use a glue gun i'm just prone to accidents with it, with it so if i don't have to i'm not using it you can also use um how it's called uh, i've got it uh, gel medium you can also work with gel medium if you have it and well i need to look for all kinds of elements and start putting it down and then i'll come back because this is can this can take quite a long time uh, until I'm deciding what goes uh, on on the lid of the box <laughs> and with uh, what order. So I'll be back. I'm back. So here is my uh, gluing down uh, schmunzes, <laughs> and I've got here. Uh, this is from the earring. Here is the brooch. Uh, these are. Uh, just old buttons some uh, beads uh, that were like uh, roses 
this is from a zipper the end of the zipper and some seed beads and just uh, knickknacks <laughs> so now I need for all this uh, to dry down and when it's dry I'm going to go all over it with white gesso and then I'll come back I'm back so I've covered everything with gesso a few uh, tips about it uh, I've used a really a soft brush so it can go into all the nooks and crannies all the texture that I've added here and in the really tight spots just take another a fine and thin brush and just go inside to put uh, the gesso in like so and just move it all around so you can see that everything has been covered and if you are not um, happy with the coverage just wait for it to dry and go over and add another coat of the gesso like so now uh, you can uh, add a little water to your gesso so it will be easier to get inside all this texture but uh, be careful not to add too much water and it just a uh, trial and error until you get the uh, full coverage of all all the things so now I really need everything to get dry so I can continue with the uh, uh, coloring all this and I'll be back when, once it, it's dry I'm back so not sure it's completely dry but I lost my patience as always now I'm going to use some sprays I've been uh, arguing with myself what how to paint it and why do I need the spray and then I thought about it that with a spray I can get into all the nooks and crannies in all this texture and afterwards I can do highlights with just a brush and an acrylic paint so I'm gonna I've got here two uh, these are Maribu sprays mixed media don't know the name of the color because I bought it when I was in Budapest and there is not a uh, anything in English except for the art spray and mixed media everything else is in Hungarian so don't know the name of it and I have here another one that is made from my uh, uh, hmm, food coloring gel yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, spray with this and we'll see how it goes and I'm using a not only a I don't like to use one color as I said uh, before in other videos it looks too much like plastic when you use only one uh, color so just so you know uh, the sprays that are made from uh, gel, gel food coloring uh, require uh, sometimes two and three coats so work but work uh, with what you have it just doesn't matter I also have sprays that are um, for textile and they are uh, not tra transparent like this and can also be used this is just the base for everything that will go uh, on top and it will take quite some time to dry and I don't know what will happen uh, it also I from experience it's all it changes a uh, color when it's dry so you really need to be patient with this a project like this and sometimes you need a lot of layers before you get what you want but 
it's worth it so I'm going um, I really need my phone <laughs> I'm gonna stop this video because this is going to take quite some time to dry and I'll come with part two when everything is dry or <laughs> I won't have my phone for the rest of the day so uh, I'll be back in part two bye for now <laughs>